Hello folks and welcome to some colleagues. Today I want to show you the difference between the Masker plugin and the Track Spacer. That's because uh, a lot of you suggested that uh, the operative principle of the Masker is similar to the Track Spacer. If you don't know what the Masker is, you can watch my, uh, the previous videos I made about it. Today I want to show you that there are a lot of differences between these two plugins, especially in the way you can use them. So I made up this session for today. We have a lead vocal, then we have a lot of instruments that are trying to mask the frequencies of the vocal, so we have the a synth part, an organ, an electric piano, all playing, all of them playing notes in the, in, in the range uh, of the vocal, and the overall mix is very dark, and the vocal is super badly uh, EQ'd, so I'm using the TDR Nova to make it sound super dark. And I want to see if we can use the track spacer to make some space for this vocal. So I would start with the track spacer. And the first consideration is that the track spacer is not made to fix a bad mix. And today we can have a listen. So here we have the track spacer is set to work about 15%, low cut is at 350 hertz, high cut 7k. That's because the masker is nope. The masker, uh, we're going to listen to it in, in a few minutes, it's working pretty much in the same way. So it is EQing starting from 350, 300 hertz up to 7k. So let's have a listen to the track spacer in action. Already when set to 40% it is eating up a lot of frequencies on the baking track. So I would say this is not a good situation where to use the track spacer. That's because our vocal is too dark. So instead of using a track spacer you would simply boost its volume first. So we're minus 4.7. We can set the gain at 0 uh, dB. Then here I was using this TDR Nova to make the vocal super dark, so we can bypass the Nova. Now let's have a listen. When used like so, so it's 15% uh, with a decent vocal with decent EQ, the effect is pretty natural, I would say. Now let's compare this effect with the masker. If you have already watched my previous video on the masker, you already know that the masker, when used to uh, cut frequencies, to carve frequencies, it applies a lot of phasing, especially when processing complex signals with a very wide spectrum like this track. So this is the masker and as you can see it is used to um, bury masked frequencies. So those frequencies that are the same as the vocal. It 
it is phasing. So this plugin cannot be used um, for a professional mix or even um, if you're uh, a beginner in music production, I would not suggest you to use the masker in this uh, specific situation. So to carve frequencies on your track, to make space for a lead instrument or for a vocal. Let's see how we can use the masker in a more decent and effective way. So here I have the same vocal with the same arrangement, but this time the masker is used, let me zoom in, this time it is used to reveal masked frequencies. So the masker is applied on the vocal and it's receiving uh, the track inside chain. So mask frequencies are those frequencies that are masked by the vocal. So we're going to reveal them. If you want to know how to use the masker in detail, I suggest to take a look at my previous video. The link is on top here and in the video description. effect here is very noticeable. It is boosting uh, the right frequencies at the right time and the effect overall is pretty pretty good. This is how you can use the masker in a pretty uh, safe way, if we can say so. And these are two different plugins with different purpose. And even though the goal might seem the same, so I want to highlight something, well, they, they produce different effects. Maybe in the future when they will release a new update for the masker and it will work in, in carving frequencies as well, the comparison will be fair enough. Until now, we can say that if you want to boost frequencies, the masker it's a fantastic free choice if you want to create space in your mix with a professional plugin the track spacer it's a good choice for you that said thanks for watching leave a comment down below and share with all of us your experience with these plugins oh i almost forgot to say check out my patron if you want to support my channel and if you want to take a look at some extra content as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in a future video. Bye bye!